good morning children everyone are fine very good yes children what is our lesson for fifth lesson that is actually in the textbook fourth lesson and here it is a fifth lesson yes what is it dogu dogu a village on the plateau what is the lesson name dogu a village on the plateau Already we have completed two classes. Yes, we have learned about the Dogur village where it is located, everything, and what is the plateau we have seen, and not only that, the crops, wells, irrigation facilities, fruit orchards, everything we have learned, and other livelihoods of the people, and cattle rearing, everything we have learned, and only three four topics are there. We are going to complete this lesson. Okay, children. Now we are going to learn. Today, the other activities of the Dogur village. What are the other activities of the Dogur village? Other activities. What are the other activities of the Dogur village? Yes. What are the other activities? They are carpentry. They are carpentry. Carpentry. Learn the spelling, ma. Spellings are very important. Metal working, metal working. Next, rice milling, rice milling. Next, other non-farm activities. Other non-farm activities. Other non-farm activities. Let's see that. Yes, these are the other activities they are doing in the village. Carpentry. Yes, sir. When we come to the carpentry, two families are doing the carpent work. Carpentry. What is that? Wood work. Carpentry means what? Wood work they are doing. Yes, what work they are doing? They are preparing doors and windows and roof sheets for the construction of houses. And uh, nowadays, what they are using? Before they used to do manual work. Nowadays, they are using electrical machines. For working, for work. Yes. Now, one of the man who is in Prabhakar Chari. Prabhakar, Prabhakar Chari is how much is he earning per month? Three thousand rupees. He is earning three thousand rupees. Next, we are coming to the metal working. Next, we are coming to the metal working. It is also called as blacksmith. It is also called as blacksmith. Yes. What they will do? They will repair the agriculture implements and also do. Welding work and also do welding work. Okay. Next we are coming to the rice mill. Next we are coming to the rice mill. Yes, sir. In this rice mill, how many families are there? Twenty families are there. Yes, sir. Twenty families are there. Yes, sir. Yes, professional service rice mill. In this, sir. Yes, sir. Do you know two rice mills are there? And when we come to the non other other non farm activities, yes, twenty families are there. Twenty families are there, professional and service workers, and government employments. And some families work as drivers or work vehicles which run as taxis. Okay, children. Yes. Next, we are coming to market and transportation. Next, we are coming to the market and transportation. Next, we are learning about market and transportation and transportation. Yes, here market and transportation paddy is grown here. Very less paddy only grown, but because it is a plateau region, and where it is uh, sold, it is sold in the Devarakadra market. It is sold in the Devarakadra market. And cotton they are growing, and where the cotton is sold. It is sold in the Jat Chandra and uh, uh, Mandala Puri of Vanaparthi village. And uh, not only that, uh, it is having its own kanta. This village is having its own kanta. Kanta means weighing machine. And what the problem you think? In their village, the weighing machine is only the good. And then if they go out of the village, there it is a arbitrary. Arbitrary means not good. Yes, they will uh, make the clues of that. Yes, sir. So problems farmers face arbitrary decision on prices by traders. And 
and many farmers depend on loans so many farmers here depend on loans from traders for purchasing seeds pesticides and fertilizers hence how to accept the price offered by them as in this day farmers also depending on the traders farmers also depending on the traders yes sir and repeated crop failure we have seen they are digging the borewells if they dug dug the four borewells only one borewell they are getting the water because of that what is happening crop is failed if the crop is failed all the farmers are in debt in debt because they have taken the loan now from the traders so they are in debt yes and they cannot return the loans and there is a risk of losing their land also this is about market and transportation next we are going to learn about village settlement next we are going to learn about village settlement village settlement yes in the village settlement if you see in the dogur village in the dogur village we had 570 families how many families are there 570 families in this 570 families if you see 3400 people are there of different caste are there of different caste are there of different caste yes and uh, 350 300 3400 people are there as per the 2011 census yes sir and 350 families and 350 families Yes, sir. According to 2011 census, and 350 families are there of various castes, of various castes. Yes, sir. and 220 families depend mostly upon the wage, wage labourers. Yes, sir. 220 families are there. Those who are depending mostly upon wage labourers, holding very less land that is half acre, then less than the half acre, and all agriculture labourers. Yes, sir. What they are doing? They are all migrating to other places. We have seen also. From 350 families, three or four are large farmers. From 350 families, three or four are large farmers with about 30 acres of land. Other farmers have only half or five acres of the land. Yes. And when we see about the houses, when we see about the houses, earlier the roof of the houses made of red clay. Earlier, the roof of the houses are made of red clay, are made of red clay, and walls with mud, and walls with mud. But now, what wood was not used much that time, but now new houses using steel bricks and concrete, stone and mud easily available from the nearby quarries. Houses of poor or thatched or have thin sheet roofs. Yes, sir. They have electricity connection. They will depend on wells for drinking water. Drinking water is supplied through an overhead tank, which draws its water from a bore pump. And they are getting water for two days from tap connections. And the government has provided uh, tap for every house. Every house is having taps. Next, we are going to learn about roads and markets. Roads and markets. Roads and markets. Markets. Yes, in this village we can see few shops like Kirana shop, Chicken Center, Vegetable Shop, and Pawn Shop. And not only that, buses are running from Mahabub Nagar to Dohur. Not only that, some buses are running from the Devar Katra to Vanapatri via Dohur, and they were linked with the NH44. Villages travel by shared auto rickshaws also. As a north of the village, a railway station is there where three local trains stop. Okay, children. This is about our Dohu lesson. With this, we have completed the lesson. Go through the lesson very well, ma. Go through the videos. Okay. Thank you, children.